Hey everybody, in today's video I want to discuss one of the most fundamental data structures in Python, list. A list is used to store multiple items in a single variable. Imagine you have a shopping list which contains items you need to buy. Well in Python a list is just like that. It's a collection of items that can be of any data type. You can have numbers, strings, or even lists within a list. Now let's take a look at an example. So let's start with this simple example by creating a variable named grocery underscore list. And then let's assign it a list. Notice that we enclosed the items in square brackets and separated them with commas. Now let's print grocery underscore list. And as you can see, it is printing each of our items to the terminal. Now to show you this is truly a list, we're gonna use the Python built-in function type to see what type of class this is from Python. And as you can see, the type here is listed as list. So let's just say that we wanted to print a particular item from the list. Lists are zero index, which means the first item is accessed using the zero. The second item in the index will be one and so on. So we're gonna print the grocery list item zero, which is eggs to the terminal. And next to the name grocery list we're going to include brackets and zero which is going to print the first item to the terminal declare grocery underscore list access the second item i brackets and the number one and we want to assign the variable name potatoes and if we print grocery underscore list to the terminal now we can see the second item in our list name is now potatoes not only can you access and modify list items but you can also find the length of a list by using the len function now if we print this to the terminal you see the results of three we also have the ability to add an item to the end of a list by using the append method. Let's add milk to the end of our grocery underscore list. First declaring our variable, then using the dot append method. And inside of the dot append method, we wanna include the string milk. Now, if we print the grocery list to the terminal, you see that we now have milk added to the end of our list. So that is a quick rundown of Python list. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more. 